Hello, my name is Antonio Sage and welcome to the workflow. Today, we are going to create a little uh, trick that I use sometimes to add vocals to a track when I don't have a vocalist available. I have sample library collections and I have choir collection in particular. And today we're going to be looking at Sound Iron's Olympus Elements, an awesome uh, choir collection. And we're going to double click the men sustains. And that's what that sounds like. You're going to notice that there's a vowel selector here. This allows us to select different vowels. If we're meticulous, we could probably come up with some pretty fairly convincing words in whatever language. But we are going to deliberately create a, another language by layering and randomizing. So the first thing we're going to do is select this guy and command G and we're going to layer it up. So the next thing we need, we've got the men and we're going to get the women sustains in there next. And while we're at it, let's get the men staccato and the women staccato. And this is what we're going to do next. We're going to open up our macro editor and we are going to assign the vowel selectors for each one of these guys to the to the first macros. So macro number one is going to be uh, uh, for the first uh, men's uh, legato. This is the women's legato, and we're going to assign that to macro number two. Macro number three is going to go to the men's staccato, and macro number four is going to go to the women's staccato. So we should have control in our device uh, mode in push. Uh, and we just have to select the right instrument. And we should have control of these vowels. <laughs> of all these people. So it's a very powerful feeling. However, again, we are going for randomology here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to fold this guy a little bit. So as to add some more stuff here and we're going to go to max for live and find ourselves in the max midi effect folder the api max api control to midi cc i'm going to add that first and what this guy is going to do is send random uh, messages to control these uh, vowel selectors here and how we're going to do that we're going to we're going to assign its output to this track and then we are going to so we're going to select the the instrument rack which is next and you know what that looked kind of confusing so here I'm gonna rename this um, uh, this is our people so um, this sh should be called people right up here but it's not maybe it's because I have to reassign it let me do that this track and there it is now it's called people and that's a little less confusing so there so you don't have to um, look through all that crap to get what you want so the next thing we're going to do is assign this particular max api control midi cc to uh, control the vowel selector of uh, the first vowel selector or the men's legato and um, we're going to turn up the jitter and we're going to see that start to move and start to move in a random fashion which is exactly what we want uh, we can turn up the frequency uh, the output rate and um, if we decrease the output rate we actually get more um, uh, more movement as you can see we've got total random randomization here and that's um, pretty darn awesome. Can't really tell because it's kind of drowning and all that, uh, the rest of these guys. So what we need to do is actually create some more randomization. So we are going to copy this guy. And in the next version, we're going to see that everything takes the same output, but we're going to change the output on this one to the second vowel selector, which is the women legato and then 
of course we're going to do the same thing over again and this time we are going to select the men's staccato and that's moving and last but not least we are going to copy once again and this time you can guess we are going to affect the last style selector which is the female staccato so if we are now looking at our instrument we're going to see that it's looking a little bit crazy however what's going to happen is whatever note i'm hitting at that particular moment it will play that vowel but the next time i hit it it's going to be t something entirely different and it should create a pretty cool effect subsequently you can do really cool things like this